Um, your biological age has actually come out at 30 years of age. So from a DNA test, you can determine how old my body is looking at the DNA? Pretty much, yeah. So what we do is that we, we analyze, there's lots of genes that have been studied that encode for, for the aging process. Right. So we look at the chemicals that sit on, on top of them, methylation points, whether they've been turned up or turned down. So it's a bit like a dimmer switch on a light. Yeah. You can turn the expression up and you can turn the expression down. Then we compare your genes, the methylation points, with people within your age group. And you're bang on exactly what you are. And so there's been four main areas that have been studied for a, for a longevity standpoint. Yeah. So reduction in calories, okay. um, normally from carbohydrates. Definitely not that. <laughs> then we've got antioxidants that you've mentioned. Cranberry juice. Okay. Um, reducing your meta metabolic rate. So relaxing, so your hyperbaric chamber probably would have helped with that one, as well yeah. as your other recovery things. Don't suppose you do yoga, do you? I don't. No. no, right. And the last, and then the last one would be vitamin D. Vitamin D is massively important. It is. I don't think people realise how important vitamin D is. It regulates nine hundred genes, so one twenty fourth of your in your whole genome. Yes. And then it has a knockdown effect. Now that we're coming into and the clocks have just changed, we're not going to have any sun in the UK for the next six months. Yeah. And the, the reason why most people seem to develop SAD, or feel a little bit stressed and a little bit moody and under the weather during, during the winter months, is that vitamin D is really important because it helps flick tryptophan, which is an amino acid in lots of foods, over into ser serotonin, which is the happy hormone. Right, Without okay. vitamin D being there, you don't flick the switch. Right. So just from a mental health standpoint, that, if you just introduce vitamin D, just one vitamin, yes. it should, you should alleviate some of that a little bit.